guys, I'm going to be talking to you about my Sutton Trust summer school experience. I went last year, so I went from the 20th to the 25th of July 2014. Um, the university that I went to was the University of Nottingham. The course that I did was engineering, computer science and maths. And yeah, I'm assuming you know what the Sutton Trust summer school is. It's basically an organisation that allows for like year 12 people to go and spend a week at university. Um, they get to choose the course that they want to do and from what uni as well and then they go spend a week there and get a feel for uni. There are certain entry requirements so you need to get like five A's or something like that from GCSE and you may need to be doing that specific subject at AS level. I've still got my acceptance letter and I got this on the 10th of April 2014 so I think around that time you'll probably hear back from the places that you've applied to. But yeah moving on to what it was like for me and my experience so I'm going to start off with what was the first day like. So I got the train from London to Nottingham and I went and sat down, I, I overpacked, my suitcase was massive. I was a bit late so I had to like put the suitcase under my leg. The girl sitting next to me was around my age and there was a girl opposite me who was also around my age and at the time I didn't think anything of it, I just thought oh it's a coincidence. I didn't expect them to be going to Nottingham as well. Um, it was only near the end that I found out they are actually going to the summer school also. If you're sitting on the train next to someone your kind of age, talk to them because they might be going to the same place as you. By the time we found out, one of the girls had already left. So me and the other girl, her name's Abby, we went together to like the main entrance of the station and waiting for us at the entrance were ambassadors and they're basically um, university students that are getting paid to like help out and stuff. So yeah, they greeted us and they were like really friendly, it was really nice and there was me, Abby and then I think four other people so they were like, okay, that's enough to get a cab. So they sent us on a cab from the station to the university. So whilst we were in the cab we were talking and stuff and it was such a good mix because like Abby was from Essex um, and these other girls were from like Birmingham I think so there was all these accents and it was so nice and they paid for the taxi fare there were like people waiting at the university after that they took us into the main reception bit of the uni and um, they made us sign in and they gave us like lanyards and a bag this is what my lanyard looked like we just had to wear this around our neck for the whole week so that people knew our names obviously and they also gave us this bag and it just had like the essential stuff like little information booklets and then they took us into our university rooms where we will be staying for the week I forgot to take Abby's number so she was off in a different court and I was in a different court but I went upstairs the whole time there's university students helping you out so there was a girl that offered to carry my suitcase and obviously I said no and I carried it up and it was so heavy I really should have asked for help but it's fine um so yeah, we got into our rooms, I unpacked my suitcase and she said, um, come down for lunch and then there's going to be like an intro talk. So I was so awkward. As soon as I went in the room, like, I felt like isolated. I felt like, because you don't um, get to meet people and I left Abby, I didn't take her number. So I was like, oh my God, I'm alone already. I don't know what to do. So I unpacked my suitcase and then I just stayed in my room. I did not go down for lunch. So I only went in for the intro talk, don't be like me, mix in, like talk to people. But yeah, I went to the intro talk and everyone was sitting there, it was so weird, there was like 200 kids in this massive hall and some people were with their parents, so if you're going with your parents, you're lucky, you don't need to socialise straight away, you kind of have a bit of time and then you can start mixing in with other people. Whereas with the people that go on their own, they're kind of just put in with so many people, it's a bit like... Uh, I don't know what to do. After that we were split into our tutor groups and we had a mentor each or an ambassador you could say and then there was about I think six or seven of us but yeah we all went into the field and people said bye to their parents, the parents left. So we were all in our little groups in the field just sitting down and we played like little team building games that was really fun and then after that I think there was like evening activities and that there weren't any lectures on the first day. We also then met our subject groups which are the people that are doing the same course as you and we played loads of like mind games so on the first day it's really chilled out you don't do like proper lectures or anything it's mainly just trying to make you feel kind of at home. I've made so many good friends out of this like there are still a few friends that I still talk to 
and it's been like nearly a year and we still talk so much so don't be too nervous like i was um it's gonna be totally fine you're gonna have such a good time so now i'm gonna talk about the next few days and what we did then so the next day um we had like academic sessions from 9 30 till around one ish and then after that we'd have like a kind of fun activity and then evening activity so it was really well planned out whilst you're there they give you like food tokens so for lunch and stuff you go to the cafe they give you the token you just use that you don't need to pay for anything so that's really good for me because i did engineering maths and computer science our practicals involved a bit of eat for one of our academic sessions we went to the computer lab and we had like a robotics themed kind of session. So basically we worked with another person um, and by this time you have made friends, like you click with people like that it is so quick and you make friends straight away, so don't worry. Um, and then you just work together and we had to like build like a robot. We had to like code its movements and um, how far it would go, how fast it would go. So that robotics session was awesome. I absolutely loved that. And then for another academic session we were um, doing chemical engineering stuff so we were like testing out water and doing all sorts of stuff and there aren't any like tests or any hard questions that you need to answer it's so much more chilled and then for the fun evening activities we did stuff like greek dancing playing like loads of instruments we did like something similar to taekwondo i'm not sure what it's called and our main thing was the big fat pony just search for the hashtag big fat pony on twitter and instagram and you'll get a feel for what it is. It was so much fun. I'm not sure if the other universities do it as well, but at Nottingham, that was the highlight. It was so, so good. Um, there was like 200 or something kids. We were all there in a circle, and then the ambassadors would like run around singing. Ride around my big fat pony, ride around my big fat pony. Ride around my big fat pony, this is how we do it. Front to front to front, oh baby. Side to side to side, oh baby. Back to back to back, oh baby, this is how we do it. And then the people that they were dancing in front of run around with them. If you go to Nottingham, you will definitely do that. And trust me, it is so fun. And one of the evening activities was a pub quiz. So we went down to the bar, the student bar, and we were in our little um, subject groups, I think this time. Music was playing and at the end we were all dancing and honestly it was just so 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 good and on the last night we had an amazing party it was just brilliant so i'm just going to summarize by talking about like the benefits of going the first benefit is you meet loads of new people from all around the uk you get to hear their accents you get to socialize and you honestly do make such close friends the second benefit is you get to see what university is like you live on the campus you see what the rooms are like you get to see what the catered food is like you get to see what the buildings are like, you get to see what some of the practicals are like, some of the lectures and all that, so you honestly do get a feel for uni and you know whether you want to go or not and from going um, to Nottingham I definitely knew that I wanted to go to uni and I also knew that I wanted to get an ensuite. The next thing is the evening activities, you basically live for the evening activities, you can't wait for them. And like I mentioned, there were so many mind games, there was the big fat pony thing, and by mind games, I mean stuff like the moon game. Just type in the moon game in Google and you'll find out. I'm just gonna do a really quick example, try and work this out. So if I say I can take a balloon to the moon, but I can't take a string, you need to try and say another one, that's right. I'm just gonna spoil it for you. It's basically when you have double letters, you can take that item, but you can't take an item without the double letters, so because balloon has the LL and the OO, um, you can take it. Another example is I can take a lollipop, but I can't take a chocolate bar. There were so many different mind games like this. Another useful thing about this was the university-based lectures. Um, they had lectures on like accommodation, about finance and stuff. So without going to uni, you probably don't know too much about finance and budgeting and all that. And they gave a lecture all about that. And it was just really, really interesting. And you do learn a lot. I also loved that it was run by ambassadors, so they're all university students themselves, all doing different subjects, so you can ask them any questions and they will answer. Another great thing about it is the bursary, so after you've done the summer school, if you put that as one of your options when applying for university and you do get in, you get paid I think a thousand pound every year that you go to uni for free just because you went to this five day long summer school. Also the aftercare is amazing so after you finished your five days you get assigned to an e-mentor and it's one of the ambassadors 
It might not be your tutor group ambassador, but it will be one of them. And mine was Matt, um, and he does maths at university. He just messages me asking if I need any help and all that. So I did get a lot of help from him for my personal statement. I emailed it to him and he emailed it back with corrections and suggestions. Make the most of your mentor. You can really just ask them for so much help and they will um, help you. Another thing that was amazing was they held like reunions after it was over. So just, I think, in December I went to one of the reunions and it was really good and um, not everyone came obviously but some people did and it was nice seeing them again and all of this is paid for which leads me on to the biggest thing it is completely free you don't pay a penny you don't pay for food you don't pay for travel costs even if it's for the future reunions you don't pay for anything they reimburse everything so at the start I bought my ticket and then after it ended I sent them the ticket in an envelope free post and then they sent the money to my bank account just apply because it is amazing it's five days that's really helpful and also when you do your UCAS application there is a section that says summer school so you can put that on your UCAS application form so it is really really good to put on there that's pretty much it sorry this video was really rambly and my points weren't very concise but um there was just too much to talk about and I couldn't fit it all in. I don't have any footage of the summer school, but I did take um, loads of pictures on the last day and there were a few pictures that they took, the university took, so I'll put them all here now so you can watch that. Thank you. 